Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to my family's channel, The Happy Healthy Vegans. Today I'm going to be attempting to make a brick of cheese for the first time. I do have a really good non-dairy, obviously vegan cheese on my YouTube channel that I can link in the description below. So today's cheese is supposed to be able to melt. It's supposed to be stretchy and I found it on Pinterest from the cleverrecipes.com. Whoever that may be, thank you very much. I'm going to try this. Okay, we're going to actually start by putting half a cup of boiled carrots into my blender. Then I have two tablespoons of nutritional yeast that I'm adding. Three tablespoons of tapioca flour or starch. Half a cup of hemp hearts. And as well as one cup just plain water, then quarter, quarter of a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, as well as quarter of a teaspoon of salt and garlic powder. We're going to get this blending. All right, let's blend. It's going to be loud, so plug your ears. I blended it all up and I poured it into a medium saucepan and I'm going to heat it up until it starts getting ooey gooey. One thing I did like and I, why I picked this recipe is because my husband's allergic to um, cashews and I actually want to try a cheese that had no cashews. And almonds. I use almonds typically but I wanted to actually try and get away from just the nuts in uh, general so I'm going to stir this up over medium-high heat until it starts getting gooey. Now the recipe calls for three tablespoons of tapioca starch slash flour plus two and doesn't instruct you when to put the other two in so I'm guessing if the, this doesn't start getting thick after a few minutes you're supposed to add it to the pot. Smells good. Smells like cheese. Okay, I've only actually been stirring here for not even five minutes and it's starting to thicken. I turned down the burner to low because I felt like it was getting a little too hot. We'll see if this keeps thickening up. I think I'd actually recommend you with using a whisk, not just a wooden spoon. Oh, yeah, I could see it starting to get gooey. All right, it's really coming together and it's actually getting hard to stir. I did, I forgot to mention, but I did add, there was two tablespoons of tapioca starch in here, so I did add half of that in to help thicken it up. I felt like it was just a little too runny, so I'd say definitely four tablespoons of the tapioca starch. All right, I think another minute and this should be done and then I can put it into a container and put it in the fridge and this should hold up according to Clever Recipes for a week in the fridge. All right, I think this is actually quite, you can see how it's thickened up. I think it's ready and I'm going to pour it in, turn the heat off and pour it into my container that I'm going to be keeping it in for the next week or so. Look at that. Nice and gooey. Let's see how it holds up once it's cold and cooled down. This would be great to take to someone's house if you could go to someone's house this time of year if you're allowed. Especially if you're the only vegan or your family's the only vegan. Oh yeah, this is nice. All right, I'll show you when it is cooled down, what it looks like and how it cuts up.
Okay, here is my brick of cheese. I'm going to get a knife and cut it. Let's see how it is. Well, didn't look like it really worked out very well. I could probably maybe not eat this in slices, but I'd probably spread it on some bread and make some grilled cheese sandwiches with it. That probably would be good. I don't know. It smells really good. It smells like cheese, but I don't know. I think I'll just have to try again. I wanted to let you know that the brick cheese that I attempted to make for my first time, which you see there is actually kind of soft and not what I thought it would be. I used it for breakfast this morning. I made a hash brown casserole and it turned out pretty good actually. It worked. So it didn't work for brick cheese, but it did work for like almost like a sauce. But, so anyways, it was not bad. So if you want to try it, go ahead. Thanks for watching. Bye now.